All right, let me start this out by saying in 2022, none of your favorite rappers or hip hoppers give a fuck about you. And I also want to say, go and look at Hussein Campbell's latest live feed that he did when he said that your favorite YouTubers, as well as your favorite rappers, all of them that get incarcerated or want a bigger bag, they go inform it or they deal with the government. And this is something that I knew a long time ago. <laughs> because of this nigga that you're looking at. Takashi 69 is what opened the doors up that were closed about rappers going to jail, coming out. They getting a bigger bag uh, getting out of jail than they were when they was on the streets, which means they signed some type of uh, agreement for some shit that they would do. Let's just cut the bullshit. I'm, I'm talking about snitching, ratting, being an informant. Uh, word on the street, that's what WAC 100 is doing. Gang police. Like out here in the West Coast, gang police is big. They know your... Uh, Tattoos, they, they know your sets, they know what streaks you be on, they know the niggas you hang with, they know who die, be, die because of you. The shit is deep and it makes sense. A nigga like Takashi69 gets out, uh, go viral with a video, claims that he's broke, bounce right back, shit don't add up. But we already know it shows the weakness of number one, black people. Number two, the hip hop community. Niggas is still <laughs> with this nigga. He didn't admittedly told. The dare say one of the biggest artists in the world is a snitch. So that instantly took me off of trusting anybody <laughs> today or five years or ten years ago that started a rap career because them niggas are gonna tell. They all, and even the OGs have gotten along with this, I'll snitch on your ass too. Everybody is a snitch and an informant now in this damn uh, rap community. In the YouTube community, they sending feds to niggas' houses because they jealous of you getting more views and subscribers. Everything is about a bag for those that uh, went to Duke or Purdue or <laughs> UCLA. We're talking about money. So you can understand the terminology. They will sell their soul to the devil for money. All this is about nothing else. Everybody you see in this picture is hungry for a bag. Wack 100 is already sold his soul. He don't care if he die right now because he's trying to get as much uh, money as possible. Fast, for some reason. Every time you look around, he's involved in something. He's trying to use a Suge Knight uh, strategy of punking people, resorting to uh, them being afraid so they work with him or whatever tactic he got to use by being in his 50s to get artists to sign. I don't know why niggas are signed with this dude, but I could see that they must be getting uh, money. But this is crazy. And I hope you guys learn from this whole incident about the Nipsey Hustle thing, how people could lie and bring up all type of shit and it start people to thinking uh, whether the rumors are true or lies. It just don't make sense how we are against each other in 2022 after all the shit we've been through, bro, as a as a community. I can't believe that we about to see more motherfuckers die on some stupid shit. And it's just. You don't want this to happen, but you can tell. If you look at this picture, you got Hussein Campbell, WAG 100, DJ Ack, who is the moderator as well as the biggest uh, instigator <laughs> on social media because he get paid. He don't give a damn who lives or die but because he wants to get paid and make more and more money. I mean, enough money ain't enough money to these motherfucking geek heads uh, that's making bags off of sitting down behind a fucking computer board or making videos they don't care about the shit bro don't nobody care <laughs> they do not care because this shit if it was some real real g's there's no way in hell they would fuck with takashi period but everybody said to me you know oh, i'm not gonna fuck with the nigga. now 
we seen in the last couple years, everybody want the interview, everybody want to be on the song with the nigga. So the fakest niggas in the game are rap niggas. It's not <laughs> the, the heavy metal dudes that's fighting. It's not the country singers. Shit, they done ran all the R&B niggas out the game because the R&B niggas was realer than the rap niggas. This is some bullshit. Rap niggas are fake as fuck. They are the best actors. This who need the Oscars. Not Will Smith and Chris Rock and them. These niggas need Oscars because they fool all of y'all to think that they real. They they will die for their streets. They won't tell. <laughs> Get you to buy their little garbage ass music. And then they turn code on your ass and say, fuck you. I'm snitching. I'm an informant. I'm sitting in the face at your fucking house. I got you all your information recorded. It's like, man, it's a... Monkey see, monkey do. You tell on me, I tell on you type game. This shit is buku bananas. I choose not to be part of it because I don't want to deal with these niggas, bruh. I mean, you, I am a rapper, a lyricist, somebody that been on high levels of this shit and dealt with a lot of different types of uh, brothers that really love the music, did it for music, not even for the money. Like, I know niggas now that are super nice, and they don't even do it for We do it just... For the love of the music and the art of hip hop. We don't even give a fuck about a bag, bruh. If I really, I, I can go work hard, bruh, and get my money. I don't mind busting my ass and get my money. I don't need to snitch. I don't need to sell my soul. Fuck all that. Y'all can have that shit. And I'm definitely not gonna die over no bullshit that somebody, he said, she said. I pray that Jesus uh, forgive all of y'all because it, this ain't gonna end good. It's already fucking up the whole West Coast out here that whack spreading these rumors. A lot of blood will shed once again over dumb shit. Hussein Campbell, uh, he probably has some good intentions, but he's in the middle. His life is in danger too. Takashi 69 can't even come outside, bro. You know this nigga life is... Whack 100, <laughs> you know them Crips gonna see about you. The Pyrus ain't happy. Bruh, you got so much beef... Yo ass, you better stay in the house. Get the fuck off Clubhouse. DJ Act, I don't even know what side you on. But a lot of motherfuckers don't like you either. It's like all of y'all is just some fucked up individuals. Be careful who you choose to hang around, bro. Who you call your friends. And the best way to do that shit, believe it or not, is walk alone until you find the right people. Because you could be around all the wrong motherfucking people and you wonder why your life is in danger or all these problems because you're around too many motherfuckers. The less people that you hang around, the less sin and problems that you have. Subscribe.